Okay then my friends, so we have this starter project up and running now and in this lesson I want to start setting up the routes and control actions for the login and register pages. Okay then, so first up I want to set up the routes for the register and login pages, so head to the web routes file to do that. Now inside this file we've already got a few routes that make up the starter project and these routes are all concerned with a ninja model. So you can see we've got routes for the index where we show all the ninjas. We've got a show page to show just a single ninja, and one for the create page, one for a post request to create new ninjas, and also for a delete request too. And all of these routes, they're hooked up to a different action in the Ninja controller. Now, I don't want this lesson to become a deep dive into how this starter project was created and how it's all structured, because that would take a long time. And if you're interested, you can check out the whole Laravel for Beginners course where we build this application up from scratch. For now, I just wanted to mention that we already have a bunch of routes set up for the project, and they're all hooked up to their own controller, which is the Ninja controller. So now what I want to do is create two more routes in this file one for the register page and one for the login page. And then we'll also set up a controller and a couple of actions to handle requests to those routes. All right, so let's make the first route, which is gonna to respond to get requests. And that is gonna to be to the path forward slash register. And as a second argument, we wanna specify the controller and action that handles requests to this route but we don't have a controller made for this yet. So for now, let's add just an empty array as the second argument, and we're gonna come back to this. I also wanna give this route a name. So I'm gonna tack on the name method at the end, and I'm gonna call it show.register. Now, the reason I'm putting show before register is because this makes it abundantly clear that this route is for showing a register page. Later, we're gonna have a route called register without show in front of it, and that's gonna be for handling post requests to the same URL. Now, you don't have to name them this way. I'm just doing it so it's very clear what each route does when we're using the route name, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna copy this route and paste it in down here. And we just need to change a couple of things so that we've got a route for the login page too. So the path needs to be forward slash login and the name of that route needs to be show.login. Now again, we're gonna leave the second argument over here as just an empty array until we've made that controller file. In fact, we'll make that now. So to make a new controller, we wanna open up the terminal and type php artisan. And then after that, make, then a colon, then controller, followed by the controller name. Now, there's different approaches to how we can structure authentication within controllers in a Laravel app. Some developers like me like to split the authentication logic into multiple controllers, like a session controller for managing sessions and a registration controller for managing user registration. But we're gonna keep it simple for the sake of this tutorial, and we're just gonna make a single controller called auth controller which is completely fine to do. And then all the authentication logic for serving views, handling login, sign up, and logout requests is gonna live inside this controller, all right? So once that's made, head to the app folder and then find that new controller file. So then we only need two controller actions in here for now, and they're the actions for the register route and the login route. Now, normally when we have a controller for some kind of resource like blog posts, or in our case, it would be ninjas because that's what our website shows, we'd name the controller actions according to a specific naming convention. So they'd be called index, show, create, store, edit, update, and destroy. And these are the actions already made in the ninja controller for the ninja resource. However, when you're working with an authentication controller, those action names don't really make any sense because we're not really working with a resource anymore. We're handling an authentication flow. So for this auth controller, we're gonna break out of that naming convention that we'd use for resources. And instead we're gonna roll with our own action names. Now they could be whatever you want, as long as you're consistent and it makes sense, but we're gonna make one called show register to handle the get request to register routes. So let's make that public function right here. So we'll do that. And then for the get request to the login route, we need to make another action. And this time it's gonna be called show login. And both of those action names, they make sense to me because they describe exactly what we want to do, right? We want to show the register page and we want to show the login page. All right then, so inside the show register one, 
we want to return a view. So let's do that. And we've not made a view for this yet or the login page, but we'll do that shortly. For now, let's call the view auth.register, which means the view file name needs to be called register and it needs to be within an auth folder inside the views. All right, and then inside the show login one, we also want to return a view. And this time we're gonna pass in auth.login as the argument. All right then, so once that's done, we can hook the routes that we just made up to this controller and these two actions. So back in the routes file, let's come over here and I'm going to start typing auth controller until I see this namespace right here. I'm going to click on that to make sure we use it. And then we need a double colon after that and say class and then a comma and then the action name, which for this one is going to be show register. All right. So let me just copy this thing right here, all of this, and I'm going to paste it in down below and then we'll just change this to show login so now when get requests come into these paths we're going to fire those controller functions and in turn they're going to return views which we now need to create so let's go to the resources folder then views and i'm going to create a new uh, folder in here called auth because we said auth.register auth.login so that means they're found in an auth folder inside here let's create a register.blade.php file and then we'll just do a very, very simple template. In fact, we want this to be surrounded by the layout component first. So let's say X hyphen layout to do this. And we need a closing tag as well, X hyphen layout. And that means we're gonna get the nav bar and stuff at the top. Inside here, I'm just gonna do an H2 for now, which will say register. We'll change this later. And also we'll spell this correctly. All right, so I'm gonna copy this. Then inside the auth folder, we'll create a new file, this time called login dots, oops, dot, dot register dot blade dot PHP. And I'm going to paste this in and change this to login. All right. So now we have our authentication routes for those two pages, forward slash register, forward slash login. We're hooking them up to an authentication controller using these two actions right here. And inside the controller, we return the register view and the login view, which are right here, dead simple views inside the layout. So let's see if all this works so far. In fact, before we preview this, I wanna do one more thing and that is to come to the layout file and inside the nav bar where we show all the links, I just want to paste in two more links and they're to the new pages. So two anchor tags, the href in the first case uses the route function to show the route based on the route name. So that's show.login, remember over here, we said the name was show.login and show.register. So the first one, oops, goes to the login route. The second one, show.register, and that's to go to the register route. They both have a class of buttons, so they're gonna look like buttons in the nav bar. All right, so now let's see if this works. Okay then, so we can see those two buttons are right here. So if we go to login, then we see the URL up here, forward slash login, and we see that view. And if we go to register, yep, everything seems to be working. Awesome. Okay, so now we have the authentication routes for the two pages set up. We have the auth controller to handle those routes set up. And also we have the views set up as well. Next up, we need to actually make these views and create the forms within them.